welcome, welcome, good morning. I'm Albert Flindesilver. This is Writing Into Truth, our Friday free writing class. I'm so glad that you're here joining us. Uh, the way this works, for those of you who are new, is uh, I begin with a couple of brief announcements. Uh, then I jump right into offering a free writing prompt. And we go for about, um, what is it? Between five and seven minutes, usually, with the free write. And the free write is all about just stream of consciousness writing, just going margin to margin, allowing um, the writing to come from your body. You know, you, we're not thinking too much about it. We're not contemplating. We're not worrying about right or wrong. We don't have to share it here in the, in the Zoom room. You don't have to show it to anybody. This can be um, staying kind of locked in your precious notebook um, because we really want to get to the immediate and raw truth of our experience in this very moment. Uh, and so and, and it's all about surprise, right? So if there's urgency, you want to take advantage of that urgency and that motion and that action. Um, so free writing is really powerful in that way, especially when we tend to the, the urgency of it and don't go back to try and like, oh, did I spell that right? Um, am I following the prompt? So if you don't, if you go astray from the prompt, totally fine, right? If you just come to what's immediately in your experience and right from there, totally great. The prompt is there just to kind of initiate and spark the imagination. Um, okay, so we'll free write for about six or seven minutes, then we will go into uh, a, a more kind of just using our discerning mind and write a little bit more deeper into the, the idea. Uh, sometimes there's a little twist to the idea. Uh, sometimes it's just kind of working with the initial prompt and seeing where it takes you. Um, and that is the time in which you are feel, feel free to, you know, check your spelling, add more details, um, utilize metaphor and simile and whatever else you want to enhance the writing, excuse me, according to your own uh, knowledge base and your own experience and insights. Okay, so let me begin with a couple of announcements. And uh, the first one being uh, this Saturday's workshop is uh, the art of story structure part one. Um, this is part of the low cost uh, monthly workshops. There still is some space left in this workshop. And this is a two hour workshop from 11 to one Pacific time. Um, it will be recorded. So if you can't join us live, um, I can always send you the recording. Um, and Audrey just posted the link there. So if people are interested in that, that's gonna be a really great overview of story structure, as much as we can pack in <laughs> to, uh, to a two hour session, uh, but there'll be a lot of great content. And so it'll be split kind of in two, two ways. There'll be, um, I'll talk a little bit about story structure for the first hour and then the second hour will be writing and um, writing into using some examples from uh, the, the elements of story structure towards your own project and just experimenting a little bit. If you don't have a writing project, that's totally fine too. If you are in the process of journaling and, and rediscovering writing, this would be a really great way of just thinking about story structure and um, potential ideas uh, for memoir or for story or for script or whatever might come uh, to mind for you in the future. Uh, so, that's going to be a fun class. And then I announced, and I'm so glad there's so many of you this morning, uh, but last, last week, I think it was last week, I announced um, that we need to all save the date, September 26. I have got the great, I don't have her book with me, but the great Cheryl Strayed will be joining me uh, here on Zoom for a full day class. And I am going to open up registration for that uh, this Sunday. So look for an email from me. I'm assuming all of you are on the email list. And if you're not, you can jump on there. Um, and I will be sending out that initial registration opening this very Sunday. Um, so this is an amazing opportunity to write with the great Cheryl Strayed, who is uh, not only an amazing writer and an incredible human being, but a fabulous teacher. And I've had the opportunity to work with her a couple times, uh, once in Maui, Hawaii, and once here in Northern California. Uh, so this will be a virtual experience, a day long experience. Um, you'll get me for part of it um, and you'll get Cheryl for most of it. Um, again, September 26th, uh, look for an email Sunday. 
Um, I think that's it. Oh, one other thing is um, the first week of August, um, I'm going to socially distance from afar. And um, I haven't asked Audrey about this, but <laughs> I'm hoping that she will uh, be my stand-in on Friday. Uh, I think it's August 5th or 6th, but we'll talk about that. Um, there will be no meditation class that week, um, which is Wednesday, the whatever that Wednesday is. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Um, so I'll send an email update about the schedule for that. Okay, uh, so welcome, welcome. Once again, uh, pen and notebooks ready. Um, let me make sure I have my proper page open here. Oh yes, so Wednesday, if you were in the Wednesday meditation class, uh, then you remember we were talking about belief. Um, so sometimes this is one of the advantages of coming to the Wednesday class. First of all, it's meditation for creatives. So it's really uh, those of you who are in, who join us on Wednesdays, uh, you can let everyone else know like how the meditation, how mindfulness can uh, awaken a deeper creativity um, and help us transcend writer's blocks, etc. So it's very, it's very much geared towards writers and opening up that field of creativity. Anyways, um, and we, we usually work with a certain topics. And sometimes I like to bring those topics into the Friday class. And here we are. So I want to work a little bit with belief. And um, belief was the topic that we were working with. And um, here's the prompt. And I want, again, just you're going to hear the prompt. Um, we'll write it. We'll type it in the chat. Um, and then just go. Just let your mind run wild. Okay. On your marks, get set, and... I can't believe I used to believe blank. I can't believe I used to believe blank. And go. So keep your pens moving, keep your fingers dancing across the keys. If you can't think, just write about not being able to think. Can't think, can't think, can't think until a new idea flows in.
If you're just joining us, the prompt is in the chat bar. I can't believe I used to believe. Keep the energy flowing. We've got another minute or two. Keep the fingers dancing. The hands sprinting across the page. There is the magic bell. This is our pause point. So um, take a minute to just finish up your current uh, phrase or sentence. And what I'd like you to do right now is take a, a minute and reread what you just wrote and find one sentence, at least one sentence or one line. Could be the whole thing. But um, find one sentence or one line that, that surprised you, that has a lot of energy to it, that has a lot of um, kind of unexpected punch, as it were. And then just put like a little star, or underline that sentence or phrase.
And again, if you're just joining us, um, the prompt is in the chat bar. I can't believe I used to believe, and we just finished our free write. All right, does everybody have a, a single line? Um, we'll come back to this. Uh, before phase two, uh, Leanne is saying, interested in the uh, story structure class, already committed this weekend. Um, so just know that the, the workshops are recorded. And so I can always send that to you. And um, I had no idea I was competing with the Amherst writers <laughs> workshop. That's a good one. That's great. I'm so glad. Uh, and this is for everybody that uh, uh, I hope that you are taking um, lots of different um, workshops um, from different uh, the Amherst Writers is a, is a good one out of UMass, I believe. Um, they have journals and a uh, great program and all kinds of wonderful things. Um, okay, so belief, 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 belief. Uh, phase two of our um, thing here, our writing, is to, uh, I want you to write a little bit more deeply into this using your discerning mind, using your knowledge base. Um, you can feel free to edit and tinker and tweak. Um, but this time I want you to focus into a particular situation where this or another belief got you into trouble. Okay? So where this situation, this belief um, got you into trouble. So it should be a very specific scene. So if you're a little general in your free write, how can you heighten the details? Um, and maybe this takes you into um, a different writing, and that's okay too. We're going to have about 10 minutes for this, so you can explore this uh, at your leisure, as it were. Um, 10 minutes isn't that leisurely, but that's about all we have time for. Because I forgot to mention the most important part of this whole class is the fact that we spend the second half hour um, sharing and in discussion and hearing from all of you or those of you who want to share, um, which is one of my favorite parts. So uh, for this second phase here for the next 10 minutes, go ahead and write into a specific, very specific situation. If you already wrote into a, a fairly specific situation, heighten the details, uh, bring in the five senses, uh, bring in some metaphor and detail, bring in some character, just to kind of heighten this um, creatively in any way you see fit. Okay, and then we will come back. Uh, I will be back right around 9.30, 9.32. And have fun with this. Uh, and maybe I'll just say one other thing. Um, think about considering different modes of belief, beliefs about ourselves, uh, beliefs about the culture, beliefs about others. Um, other cultures, other people, other races, um, beliefs about food, beliefs about uh, substances, beliefs about, um, you know, we can have beliefs about anything. So just let your imagination run wild and see, see, where, you, see where you run with this. Have fun and I'll be back shortly.
Okay, another minute or two to just somehow bring this to a close for now. Um, of course, you can always continue to write while I'm chatting, uh, but we're going to tr transition in a couple minutes to opening things up for sharing and discussion. Um, and in advance of that, um, I just wanted to say a couple of words about belief. I'm thinking about belief uh, in my own experience. You know, there was a time that I used to think that cigarettes were cool. <laughs> Smoking cigarettes was a cool and good thing. Part of that was I think that my mom smoked and she was the coolest. She was the most fabulous and the most socially elevated. Um, and then I thought that, that uh, alcohol and drugs were cool, like a good way to just, you know, step out of the world and um, numb yourself from the harsh realities. Um, I kind of believed that for a while. Um, and then some of the, any, those of you who have read my memoir know that I was involved with a psychedelic therapy cult for a while. <laughs> That's a fun story. <laughs> so I went through this whole belief phase of believing uh, like mushrooms and ayahuasca and MDMA and all that stuff as medicine. And there's an element perhaps of truth to that, but not in the way that this crew was running things. Um, so that belief evolved, you know, and then I, uh, when I first started meditating, uh, I, I learned to meditate at a, a Buddhist center and I got heavy into the Buddhist thing. And I believe, I really believed in a lot of the, um, sort of almost some of the element the doctrinal elements of Buddhism until I, I learned about how uh, exclusionary they were towards women. Um, and how limiting some of those, uh, or how rigid some of those beliefs in the, in the Orthodox Buddhist sects, um, S-E-C-T-S, sex actually is. Um, not that I don't believe in Buddhism, because Buddhism isn't really a belief. Anyways, it's a, it's a way or it's a path. But, you know, just sort of charting this evolution of beliefs over time in our lives is, is interesting. Um, and now I don't really, I don't know what I believe <laughs> anymore, <laughs> except for love and creativity and being awake in this moment, you know, being alive as possible, being as loving and caring as possible. Uh, and so it's just, I think it's a really interesting exercise to kind of check in with our beliefs periodically, um, you know, it's hard to, and, and through writing, through mindfulness, through meditation, and through, especially through writing, we can really touch back into, oh, what is it I believe about X, Y, Z? What is it I really believe about myself? You know, if I'm journaling internally, what is it I truly believe about others, the other out there, that other person, that other culture? Um, and what do we really know, you know? We think we know, like I was having this experience, I've uh, been married for 20, about 20 years, and thinking I know my wife. I, I have no idea <laughs> who she is on certain levels. I know certain habits, there's some certain familiarities, certain stories, right? But there's, it's almost impossible to know somebody truly. If you think of the vastness of a human being, um, and yet we still hurl all these beliefs about them. Uh, and same with ourselves, right? We hurl all these beliefs and labels upon ourselves. And yet, I think writing at its, at its greatest and mindfulness and meditation at its greatest is, is, is a process of, of um, peeling those away. Um, down to that sort of that core essence of our creative freedom and um, creative potentiality. I'm just gonna close here really quick uh, by telling you I adore you, I appreciate you. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, this is a really amazing uh, community of, of, of artists, of writers, of 
creative geniuses that are you, each one of you. Um, I'm so inspired every week um, and I'm so heartened uh, that we get to share in this way. Um, so I wanna thank you for showing up and for sharing. Feel free to, to spread the word. We still have um, space in this class every week. Um, and so if you know people who might be interested and would benefit, feel free to, to share the link. Um, hope to see some of you uh, this weekend in the Art of Structure class. Um, you're welcome to, to sign up throughout, uh, I think we have till tomorrow morning, really. <laughs> so, um, so let's uh, keep in touch. Thank you so much again, everybody. Um, be well and uh, may your writing, may your creativity, and may your presence um, radiate out and, and be a blessing to all beings everywhere.